Hey guys, Mike Wagan here, MikeWagan.com and in this video, I will show you how to create an online re rental store with Shopify. The more comprehensive guide is available at MikeWagan.com. It will also be linked down below in the description. So let's jump right into it. It is no doubt that Shopify is a very versatile e-commerce platform in ads, and it's been formed into sites that are not exclusively selling physical or digital items online. Some companies have used it specifically just to showcase their products. Some even use it as an alternative to WordPress as a content management system. Others have used it to set up paid appointments to speakers and consultants. And something that I've recently been asked to create is a Shopify rental store. So what are the basic functions that uh, a rental store should have that is not yet default in the Shopify setup? First is picking a date for renting the product. Second is asking more information about the product. Requesting a code for customized pricing. Fourth is generating invoices. Fifth is customizing the shipping rates. Then sixth is customized product options. So some, some rental stores might need uh, different functions, but in general, these are the main ones that a rental business owner needs on their website. We'll take a look at each function in detail and how to implement them in to a Shopify store through any available apps. So picking the date or date range for renting a product. Customers need a way to set a date or a date range where they will need the item that will be rented. One of the most recommended Shopify app for this is book that app so it is linked on my article hopefully you will uh, check it out it lets customers reserve time on your business calendar right on your shopify site so you can uh, uh, offer appointments classes product rentals tickets and more in all all in one place so customers stay in your shop and your third party hassles are over they also have a demo site that you can check out. It will be linked in the uh, article below. Customers also need uh, a way to ask more information about any of the products that is being offered. Most of the time, customers cannot tell or cannot get all the information they need just from looking at the website. This is where we need to implement easy customer contact methods for the customer. So here are some of the options for this. Is getting a phone number, a Skype, online number, or use Grasshopper. So this is a, uh, a service for uh, customer support with uh, online number. Another option is Facebook chat. So more and more people prefer messaging platforms like Facebook Messenger over email for phone or online chat when it comes to communicating with brands. So you can definitely uh, check out this a uh, Facebook chat app. Uh, there's a more detailed explanation on it on my article as well. But let's go through this uh as quickly as possible. The next chat app that I recommend is Zendesk. This is uh, similar to what I have on my website. Contact us form, right? And you will be able to send a message di directly to customer support on the website. Okay, next is a improved contact form. So this is just a uh, 
a page, a contact form on your website. And if you use this app, you will have an instant contact us page and also a pop-up from your shop. Uh, so you can easily get messages from visitors and customers without editing your theme. Next requirement is requesting a code for customized pricing. Some rental companies, especially those with higher priced items, may want to have the request a code option for their customers. This will be very handy if you are already expecting customers to negotiate a better pricing for bundled products and then they can directly pay for the rented items directly on the quotation that you have sent through email. Here are some of the apps that you need to check out. First is the global request a code. I've tried this out and here's uh, their own description of their app. It allows your customers to submit codes for any product and bargain for the best price. If you agree with these codes, you can turn them into orders. Would you like to receive requests for code from your customers? Request a code app will provide you with this feature on your Shopify store. Another code app is uh, get a code and hide prices. So this will allow you to hide the product price and also the add to cart button and replace them with a get a code button. So the customer will be able to send you the code request through the custom built-in contact form. Then you will receive all the code details immediately on your email address. The next code app is Quick Code. From the this one is for the Shopify cart page. From the normal Shopify cart, customers can request a code. This will email you all the items requested. It will also create a edit editable code in the app admin. From there, you can send them back a code response with pricing discounts and they can accept or check out. If they aren't ready to check out, they can also comment on the code, which will send you an email. So check out those uh, code apps. I recommend the global request a code app. So if you need to generate invoices, this one is just a quick example from the movement watch. Shopify has its own free invoice generator that you can use to create invoices for your clients. Shopify's online invoice generator makes your life easier when it comes to billing and collecting money. Simply fill in the required information and create an invoice on the spot. You can save, print, or email it directly to your clients. It is already linked on my article. But if you want more control or automation with your Shopify invoicing, you may also check out these apps. The first is Invoicify. It is a fully automated invoicing solution that creates and sends an invoice for each order that is placed with your store. Simply select or create a template for your invoice and Invoicify will handle the rest. Another invoice app that I recommend. For printing invoices, labels, receipts, packing slips, and more. This is the app called Order Printer. It is free and easy to set up. So you can print documents in bulk or one at a time depending on your needs. Lastly, another invoice app that I recommend is Sufio. Sufio Beautiful Invoices. It is described as invoices that tell your story. Compliant and also fully automatic. So they claim to 
have been professionally translated over 30 languages and it stands out to build a powerful brand. They are professionally crafted by top print designers. Another requirement for um, any rental online rental store is customized shipping rates. So sometimes rental businesses need very specific sh shipping options based on price, size, weight, or location. Shopify's built-in shipping options might not cut it for these situations, especially in countries where the province province rates are not yet available. This it's best to utilize Shopify apps to solve these kinds of issues. So here are the Shopify apps that you can consider. First is Parcelify. Create powerful custom shipping rates with Parcelify. Next shipping uh, app that you can uh, try out is Better Shipping. Take control of your shipping rates. More detailed uh, descriptions are available at the article. Another shipping app that you'd like to check out is Bespoke Shipping. This is a uh, shipping supercharged. Another shipping app that you can consider is Shipping Rates Calculator Plus. This will be able to show you the shipping rates uh, with the geolink geolocation on the cart page another app is uh, the advanced shipping manager accurate shipping rates for online stores all right so now we will check out the current renting businesses online that are using shopify the first one is uh, Mannequin Adness. It is a mannequin shop and rental store in San Francisco Bay Area. Let's just a, do a quick view of their Shopify store. They have all types of mannequin products. They are selling it and renting it as well. The next uh, Shopify store that you'd like to check out is the Playa Bike Repair. They are a company that mainly repairs bikes but also rents for also rents them for Burning Man. So if you know the Burning Man event, uh, then uh, the player bike repair is available there on that event. Let's check out their uh, bike rentals, how they are set up. They have a different tiers, very basic uh, variation for the bikes. You can uh, indicate how many bikes you want to rent. And they just uh, filled it up with all the information that the customer might need for renting the bike. Okay, let's check out the next website. This one is pretty popular across uh, uh, Shopify blogs because they have been featured a couple of times already. <laughs> They are happily ever borrowed. Bridal Accessories Rental Company that is now expanded across U.S. states. As you can see, they have a very clean and classy Shopify store. Very visual. Let's check out uh, how they have set up their rentals. 
go for a classic style Okay, they have some options here. All right, for the rental, 8 day rental, you can also choose to own it. So it will show the price of the item when you want to buy it uh, as it is. Or also the rental uh, rental prices here you can also set up the dates as you can see they are also using book that app the app that I recommended for scheduling uh, appointments and specifically for our purpose for renting all right Let's check out the last website that uh, I have mentioned, the mobile mobile locker company. They are a portable locker rental for races and events. So you can see uh, coast to coast coverage for rentals for events of all sizes. They cater to NBA right now. Right now it says on-site rentals only since uh, the date is already uh, passed already. But I can see how they might have used this website. Uh, they can ask the customer on-site to go to uh, their online rental store, mobile mobilelockerco.com, and that's where they can choose uh, the size that they need for their locker and pay it online as well. Or maybe use the POS system that Shopify has. All right. So I hope you found this uh, Shopify rental store guide helpful for your business and let me know how you are setting up your own online rental store. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Click the subscribe button if this has been helpful for you. Tick the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any new tips and tricks on Shopify and e-commerce. Thank you and have a great day.